I'd like to call to order the Utility Service Board for the City of Lawrence on this, the 28th day of June 2022. All members are present for in person and by, one by Zoom, so we do have a quorum. Our first order of business would be the minutes of our regular meeting of June 14, 2022. Those were sent out to all the members for their review by email. But entertain a motion that we approve those minutes. So moved. Tracy Boyd, second, please. Been moved and seconded. <clears throat> Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes? If not, we will vote. Uh, Dale. Aye. Dave. Aye. Zach. Aye. Tracy. Aye. And I vote aye as well, so those are unanimously approved. Next order of business would be the payment of claims. The claims were sent out to each of the members for their review by email. I would entertain a motion that we approve the payment of the claims. I so move. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion regarding the claims? If not, we will vote. Dale. Aye. Dave? Aye. Zach? Aye. Tracy? Aye. I vote aye as well. Those are unanimously approved. Next order of business would be the report of our utility superintendent, Scott. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'll get through the uh, report here real quick. Uh, I, you can see the, the first part of the report I had included uh, explanation of the change order we expected to have on for approval tonight, but uh, at the last minute, the contractor uh, requested that we pull that change order out. Apparently, they there was something on there they needed to uh, do some further review on or something. But I think you can tell by the pictures that the the additional uh, uh, spalling that they encountered when they were finishing up the roof part of the three million gallon reservoir. Uh, they they found an area that you know that when they were uh, knocking off the uh, the loose concrete to prepare to to replace it, it, it a whole big part of it fell in. Actually, you could see daylight, you know, through the through the structure. So so that uh, is what initiated that change order. At any rate, um, um, I. I I imagine we'll have that uh, change order back on the agenda at the next meeting. Um, I did attach, we have a uh, professional service agreement with Clark Dietz, I've mentioned this before. Um, this is a, uh, uh, to do the engineering and RPR work on sanitary sewer improvements here on Fort Harrison to facilitate uh, the construction of some improvements uh, to uh, address our, our current and anticipated uh, uh, demands there uh, due to development uh, here on the fort. Um, as, as I explained before, this uh, the funding is coming from the Fort Harrison Reuse Authority, so it's not coming out of the sewer budget. However, we are going to act as the, uh, I guess, the project manager, for lack of a better term, uh, for the FHRA on that, and that's why they wanted the the agreement to be between the utility and Clark Deeds which, you know, we're, we're fine doing uh, the, as I understand it, the uh, money's already been deposited with the controller for the, uh, for the payment of these engineering fees. So we would recommend that we move forward on that so we can get forward, uh, get moving on our uh, Fort Harrison uh, sanitary sewer improvements. Um, our water main projects are, are moving along well. Uh, we've had the contractors pulled off of Franklin Road just so they can get the roads, uh, cleaned up and ready for the 4th of July parade, but as soon as the parade's over, they'll be back out on Franklin Road to finish that up. Uh, they're installing hydrants and services, pretty much what they have left to do on Franklin Road. Then they'll be moving, I believe, uh, to the next phase of that project, which will be on 46th Street from uh, Richard, or, uh, Franklin to, to Richard. Um, so that's moving along well. Um, the Miller Pipeline project for Zeller, Maple, and uh, Wallingwood Drives is uh, they've, they've completed all the water main work on Zeller and, and Maple Lane and have done the, uh, the temporary patching uh, necessary to get those streets back open. And so they have shut down on those projects for now. They've moved their, all their crew over to Wallingwood. 
they're doing the water main part of that uh, street. As soon as they're done there with the, all the, uh, the, uh, the new main, tying the services into the new main and all that, then okay. they'll finish up the stormwater. And then the final thing will be uh, the milling and the resurfacing of all three of those streets. And then those pro that project will be done. And we, we're still, there's no reason to believe they won't be done on, on time per the contract. Um, the uh, Fall Creek water main replacement, uh, which that is the main that feeds the Kroger complex that comes off of Hermosa Drive there, cuts uh, through the woods. That should be starting up here real soon along with our SWIFT grant uh, ARPA funded sanitary sewer project. Uh, our pre-construction conference was last week, I believe, on that. And uh, the contractor will be mobilizing here real soon. As soon as we get the schedule, we're gonna get that posted on the website. To help inform uh, the area of uh, impacted residents when they'll be moving to various areas within uh, Old Lawrence there, and uh, they'll be starting with the uh, the cleaning in the CCTV of the existing sewer mains to spot the laterals and uh, uh, gauge the uh, condition of the uh, the main and all that. Uh, no major developments with respect to the water wells. Um, we did, uh, or we have a meeting tomorrow to uh, uh, discuss uh, the well house design with, with the engineer we selected for this project, which is BLN. Um, we have uh, sent all the uh, information that DNR requested as far as the, the uh, maps they wanted for their uh, well siting reviews and architectural and cultural reviews that need to be done. So that part is moving forward. Uh, and our compliance activities for the EPA order are, are moving along and we're on track for meeting our deadline uh, for submitting the hydraulic model to EPA and uh, and we did you know send, send in our first uh, required quarterly report and got no uh, questions or concerns back from them so we're taking that as a good sign so with that uh, uh, and I will mention we do have one adjustment at 8154 Alamosa Drive for $472.44 due to a service line leak and the staff does recommend approval on that. But um, if there are any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> we doing anything on Boy Scout Road right now? Boy Scout Road, um, there is a contractor uh, getting ready to do uh, some sanitary sewer, uh, a new uh, lateral connection, I believe, right? Yeah, for Camp Belzer, so they'll be closing uh, Boy Scout Road starting, I believe, July 8th, 18th. Right, and they'll, they'll have that closed for, I, I guess, a couple weeks, hope, hopefully less if everything goes well. But other than that, the, the only other recent activity that's been out there is, you know, as part of our Wallingwood uh, project, we did do some drainage improvements in that intersection of uh, Boy Scout and Wallingwood. So, but that's that's been done, and I don't I don't think we have any other contractors working there right now. Somebody asked me what we were doing. I'm like, never heard anything about it. Don't know. Um, th there's a, there's an awful lot of marking has been being done along 56th Street for that project that now what has become, a, I guess, just a patching project. Um, at any rate, uh, if they if they saw them working in that vicinity, maybe they thought they were working on Boy Scout, but that's about all I can think of that's going on right there right now. They were talking about the closure of it, so I imagine it was the Boy Scout. Lateral. Yeah, that would be Camp Belzer then. That explains it. Okay. Anything further? Okay, well, thank you, Scott. Thank you. We do not have any unfinished business this evening. So under new business, we do have the one item. I would entertain a motion to for approval of the Fort Harrison Collection System Capacity Improvements Agreement from Clark Dietz for $387,295. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Dale, I'll move approval. A second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion regarding this item? If not, we will vote. Uh, Dale? Aye. Uh, Dave? Aye. Zach? Aye. Uh, Tracy? Aye. I vote aye as well, so that is unanimously approved. Other item of business would be the account adjustment. Uh, entertain a motion for the approval of a sanitary sewer adjustment 
at 8154 Alamosa Drive for $472.44 due to a service line leak. So moved. Been moved. Is there a second? I'll second. Sexy boy second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion? Not. We will vote. Uh, Dale. Aye. Dave. Aye. Zach. Aye. Tracy. Aye. I vote aye as well. That is unanimously approved. We do not have any demonstration of ratepayer dispute regarding disconnect notice this evening, and no one is present for citizens' comments. Entertain a motion. We adjourn. Moved. Second. Moved and seconded. We will vote. Dale. Aye. Dave. Aye. Zach. Aye. Aye. I vote aye as well. Thank you all for coming. We are adjourned.